Hey guys, it's Yang Yang. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to take a deep look at the surf strategies that Timo Bo used when he played against with Ma Long. In this video, I will show you the data I extracted from this match between Ma Long and Timo Bo at WTTC in 2013. Then, I will explain the useful information behind each game. Last, I will talk about what you can really learn from this match. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. First of all, I will give you the data reports of each game based on Timo Bowl's serve performance. In the total 6 games, Timo served 55 balls, won 28 and lost 27. Winning percentage is 51. If you remember, we analyzed Liu Shiwen's serve performance in my previous video. Her serve winning is 71%, which is really high. But one thing I wanted to emphasize is, serve is one small fact which determined the result of match in men's game. Which means, it's not enough if you have a great serves. In order to beat all the top male players, you still need all the other solid skills. In the first game, Timo serves 7 balls, win 29%, lost 71%. There are 4 balls served to Ma's forehand shot area. Timo only got 1 out of 4. The rest 3 balls went to Ma's backhand shot area. He scored 1 point. Let's watch the first game. From the game, we can tell, Ma Long's attack is really powerful and consistent. Timo lost almost after 3 or 4 rallies. Now, let's check out the second game. Timo changes his serve to most different placements, and his winning percentage on serve increased 21%, which is 50%. 3 balls to Ma Long's forehand shot. He's got 2 out of 3. Middle long area, win and lose is half-half. But at the middle shot, he lost 100%, on his serve. And at the backhand shot area, he got a higher winning percentage. In this game, Ma Long tried to attack too hard, missed two points on his forehand, while Timo increased his attacking path, trying to initiate attack by serving shot and attack Ma Long's serve return. It's a really good strategy change. Here comes the third game. Timo beat Ma Long with 11-9. Let's check out what he did to win this game. First of all, we can tell his serve winning percentage was really high, reached to 70% and the majority of his serve is shot. The 6 boss served to Ma Long's forehand shot area and got 100% scored. Timo lost 2 points at his middle shot area and the backhand side shot area. But he got 100% on backhand long area. Follow the same strategies like a previous game. Timo tried to initiate attack by serving shot or drop shot then attack. He increased the controlling path, so he got a better chance to attack. Meanwhile, he found out that Ma Long likes using his forehand even at his backhand side. So Timo served a ball to Ma Long's backhand long area, let him open with a forehand loop 
then block to his forehand big corner. Fourth game. Timo served 10 balls, 15% scored on his serve. The bigger difference about his serve performance is he served 4 balls to Ma Long's forehand long area and lost 100%. When we're talking about the match between two top players, even the ball is shot, but it comes out of the table after the first bounce. It is still count as a long serve. Like this kind of serve. I think Timo was trying to serve shot, like the previous game he did, got 100% scored on serving Ma Long's forehand shot area. But in this game, his serve was attacking directly by Ma Long, which means Ma realized the problem he did in the previous game and changed his strategy by waiting a little bit longer for the serve comes out of the table, then attack. In the fifth game, Timo served Scott 60% on his serve and he won this game. So we can tell high percentage winning on serve really makes huge difference for the whole game. The other game he win by 11-9, he scored 70% on his serve as well. This game, he served majority boss to Ma Long's backhand shot area. Remember what we talked about the last game, he was trying to serve a shot to Ma Long's forehand but the ball went out of the table. So Timo changed his strategy by serving to Ma Long's backhand shot area. The bigger difference that Timo did in this game is, rather than counter loop with Ma Long after three or four rallies, he tried to come back, stay closer to the table, to block and control the placement. When he found a chance, he attacked. Besides, he tried to increase the power of his backhand attack. Now is the last game. Same serve strategies as the fifth games. Majority serves went into Ma Long's backhand shot area. But in this game, we can tell Timo didn't score very high, so Ma Long must change the something to improve his serve return. Let's see what exactly Ma Long did. In the last game, as we can tell, instead of a push drop shot, Ma Long pushed the long boss to Timo's backhand and two times to flick Timo's reverse swing serve and to initiate the attack. For the whole game conclusion, Timo's majority serve spots are backhand and forehand shot area. Looking at the winning percentage, it has got more than the other area. Moreover, if you have a short serve, it's better to mix with a few long serve. That will make your short serve more effective. After showing the serve performance data analysis and explaining the serve strategies he used in this match, I think there are three things that we can learn from here. First, when you play with a powerful attack player, try to initiate attack by serving shot or drop shot then attack. Control the ball so you could get a better chance to attack. Second, try not to serve the ball like the forehand corner. Even the ball is a shot, it still comes out of the table after the first bounce. Great player can still attack you on that serve. Third, try to get the pattern of your opponent. 
such as Does he perform a loop with his forehand even at his backhand side? Does he rather drop shot than flake? And so on. So you could better prepare ahead of time. All right, that's all for today. I'm pretty sure this new demonstration based on players' statistic analysis would bring you better perspective and insight about this match. I hope you enjoy watching it. Wish you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.